Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Sunday Special. My name is James Fisher, and I'll be your host for today's podcast. This is episode 15 of our Sunday series, and we're going to do something a little bit fun today. Uh, we do try to always have something different on Sundays. Uh, we've had a couple of conversations with Dalton in these past couple of weeks, and those have been super fun, and I really hope that you guys have enjoyed those. Uh, sometimes we do soundtracks and uh, just interviews. Today... In honor of Golden Week in Japan, we are going to have uh, a deep dive into the PlayStation Network's uh, Big in Japan sale. Now, uh, each April 29th until May 5th are the official holidays of Golden Week in Japan. You know, the sometimes, depending on the... Uh, the way the week lays out, they might celebrate a couple days before or a couple days after. But uh, as far as in America and in the West, what that kind of means to people like myself the most is there's always a great sale on big Japanese-made video games, and in particular, role-playing games. So that's why I kind of want to focus on that. I've got the PlayStation Store pulled up on my computer, and I kind of hinted at this during uh, this past week's podcast. But um, if you are looking at it, and let's break it down by the numbers. So first of all, it is live right now. It started a few days ago. You have until May the 8th at 11 a.m. I'm going to assume that is Eastern Standard Time. I couldn't get any verification on exactly whose 11 a.m. that was, but uh, that is going to be Friday. So if you're listening to this today on Sunday, you got to get in there and get uh, get to it. Or if you're like Michael, you have already hit it up hard and saved bukus of dollars. I don't want to throw him out too much, but he did share this on the group. I think it, it would have been close to $300 normally, and he saved about two-thirds, and it was less than 100 just off the top of my head remembering. So there are some really good deals to be had on games, and we're going to go through those Uh Pretty much each and every one of them, because I want to kind of break it down like that. So there are 394 items listed on the sales page. And keep in mind that is items that includes uh, some add-on stuff as well. I'm breaking it down by just the games. So it breaks down into 206 actual games on there. When you break it up by a genre, it breaks it down into 48 role-playing games. Now, as I have stated numerous times in the past, that doesn't always mean what you think it's going to mean. And I will um, case and point that as we go through it. So I want to start with the role-playing games, and then um, we'll get into some of them that it misses in the bigger classification. And then we'll take a break <laughs> and then I will come back and I will give you my top five of if I was, if I didn't already own these games, I would be picking them up for sure out of the RPG category. And that'll give you a little bonus top five of ones that are not that, uh, I think are, are worth your, um, worth your time and money. So let's get into them. I've listed these in alphabetical order and i will give you just a moment if you want to go get a scrap of paper and a pen and um to write these down <laughs> you are more than more than welcome to them obviously we have the uh magical ability to pause this podcast and you can if you're so inclined um speaking of which i have a funny story for you guys uh speaking of pen and paper when's the last time you had to do that don't you kind of remember like growing up in the bygone era of maybe you didn't have a strategy guide? Of course, now our uh, strategy guides are, are at our fingertips, or you could just do a quick Google search on a lot of things and find out the answers. Uh, Persona 5 
and now Persona 5 Royal is a game that I have had to use uh, more than a couple uh, Google searches for. In particular, we, uh, if my wife is up, we quite enjoy doing the crossword puzzles that are <laughs> on there. And uh, we've gotten most of them. We had to look up a couple. But speaking of pad and paper, when you get to the third palace and it gives you the clues um, for these safe locks and you have to decipher what numbers they are based on the letters that you get. Did you have to get the pad and paper out? I wonder, uh, cause obviously at first it's pretty simple. There are only four digits, so it's not too difficult. By the time you get to the, uh, the last locks, it does require a little bit more, uh, basic math and uh, keeping up with numbers. I was, I was this close to needing the pad and paper, but I was managed. If I hadn't got it right the first time I would have needed to break it out. Just, just kind of throwing that one out there. All right, if you guys are ready, let's get into it. Keep in mind, this is just the PlayStation Store sales. There are also sales going on on the eShop as well as on Steam. You'll need to check those out as we only have so long for this podcast. So I'm going to name each title, give its full price, and then its sell price. And I will give a little bit of comment on ones that I've actually played and or ones that I would think about picking up. The first one is As Divine. Kimura, and it's normally 15 it's going for 1050 right now uh, you've got the just uh, re-released conception plus maiden of uh, the 12 stars and they've got that full price at 60 dollars half off right now for 30 this game i've thought about a couple times and one of the best things about our group is the ability to get on the facebook group in particular and talk about certain games that you're on the fence about. And one of the ones that like I've heard Dalton talk about is Dark Rose Valkyrie, a game that I was always interested in. I still haven't played it yet, but they've got that at $20. It's on sale for $6. Now you can always make the argument of how good a game is based on its price. While Let's just say Dark Rolls of Valkyrie is actually not a very good game. You are also within the context of its price. So at $60, maybe it's not a good game. But is it a good game for $6? And that would be a good question that you have to answer for yourself. But I think that that, that is the most important thing when factoring in is a game good or not. Now, obviously, if it's a bad game, you don't want to pay any money for it. But is it merely, well, it's actually not bad, but I don't want to pay full price. At $6, I would be definitely tempted to finally pull the trigger on this one. A couple Digimon games. First is Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory. Now, they've got this at full price, $60, right now down to 15 Digimon World Next Order, also full price at 60 got it down to $9. Now, a lot of these games, you probably wouldn't pay full price for no matter what, but that is their everyday price on this uh, Digi- on the uh, PlayStation Store. Uh, Dragon Quest Heroes, the World Tree's Woes. Uh, and what was... The- what was the rest of that one? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Dragon's Quest Heroes, the first one. They've still got it at $40 down to 20 I enjoy the Heroes games. They are, they look the part. Um, and they kind of put you in that Dragon Quest world. But their action RPG mechanics can feel a little stale at times. Um it's funny, you see uh, something like, you know, with Persona 5 Scramble coming out, that that just looks so fast and fluid, whereas this one kind of feels slow. I think the second one was a slight improvement, but, you know, I paid full price for these games, uh, so I really don't have too much leg to stand on. So for 20 bucks, I'd say it's probably worth it if you enjoy those type of games. 
Uh, Dragon's Crown Pro, $20 normally, and they've got it down to $7. Uh, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, $30 for this one. They've got it marked down to just $10. Uh, you guys have heard me talk about this one a couple times before. Very much one of, uh, one of my definitely more liked games of this past generation. Of course, it first came out on PlayStation 3, uh, same as Dragon's Crown. Um, and I've gotten Pro and or HD Super <laughs> Enhanced Editions to them. Exist Archive, the other side of the sky. They've got that full price at 60 bucks down to $18. Um, another one I've heard uh, varying things about but never actually pulled the trigger on uh, is Fairy Fencer F Advent Dark Force. That normally $20, down to just $4. Seems like, I, I'm pretty sure I heard Dalton talk about this one too, that it's another one that's, you know, wouldn't pay full price for, but at 4 bucks. Seems like it'd be kind of hard to pass that one up. Uh, next, we get into the Final Fantasies. Uh, <laughs> you thought they might be coming. They are. So this first is uh, FF7, the actual original original game. If you've never played it before, now might be a good time. Normally $16, and it's on sale for just 8 bucks. Can't beat that. I believe they used kind of the PC version of this, so it is slightly cleaned up from its uh, PlayStation original look. Uh, still going to be pretty jaggy, but at least you know what you're getting. Uh, now, this one is the actual remastered version of FF7 or of FF8. Normally twenty dollars, they've got it down to ten dollars. Uh, a game I definitely would recommend if you've not done it. It's the Zodiac Age version of Final Fantasy XII. Um, you can pay $50 for it still, or on sale right now digitally, you can pay just $25. If you've never played uh, 12, or if you played in the past and didn't like it, I would suggest to actually give it another chance and don't view it in the scope of why did they change the system from... 10 you know what that's just let me give this a chance let the game kind of play itself a little bit set up your gambits properly and you can really enjoy this game the visuals have been really bumped up the zodiac age version of it on the job on the uh, boards is so much better you will hopefully like it a lot better Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition HD, normally $30, down to $15. i have never checked this one out. It, in some ways, it looked better than the uh, um, than the actual game. Of course, Pocket Edition, I believe this was the mobile version at first of it. They've HD'd it up. Two bigger screens. Uh, a game I could definitely get behind, and that is 10 slash 10 2 HD Remaster, normally $25. You can get two pretty great games for twelve fifty. Say what you will about Ten Two and its different uh, girl power, Charlie's Angels ripoff, whatever that they were going for with that one. That battle system is pretty fun, and it does continue the story of Ten. And let's say you don't care for Ten Two, if you're getting FF Ten for just twelve fifty, that's worth it. Definitely, I've only bought that game like three times on different systems. God Eater 2 Rage Burst. Uh, they've got that at 60 normally, down to 15. Um, now, here's a game that I own, and I played, I probably got into it like five to ten hours, somewhere in that range, and was actually enjoying it. And as is the case a lot of times, I don't know if you guys do this or not, you, you, you know, you get back into a game that you picked up earlier. <clears throat> Excuse me. And maybe you're actually enjoying it. And then um, something else comes along that piques your interest and you go away from it. And that is Grand Kingdom. Uh, it is listed at $30. They've got it on sale for $15. I quite liked it. the game. It wasn't my normal uh, kind of game that I liked. It's a, it's a pretty unique kind of stacking grid system that uh, has some varying elements to it. And it's one of those ones like I see on my shelf, and I'm like, I should probably get back into that one. 
I definitely enjoyed it. Um, next one on the list, I am set sooner. Normally $40. They've got that on sale for 20. I feel like 20 should probably be the normal price for this game now and get it even cheaper as it has been out for a while. It's digital only. So that's good. However, I liked it, but I didn't love it. So at $20, I'd like to see it probably closer to 10 on sale. I think that'd be a little bit, uh, fair, uh, some, uh, cheap games here for Mega Dimension Neptunia 7. Normally $20. They've got on sale for just $4. Um, and then uh, Mega Dimension Neptunia, uh, I believe this is the VR version of 7. Normally $30. They've got it down to just $10. Save some cash on those. I believe um, Neptunia 7, I've got that on the Vita. And that's three different games put together. I believe that's the way it works. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure on that one. Uh, Metal Max Xeno, normally $40. They've got down to $16. Monochrome Order, normally $15, down to $5. Uh, this game just came out not too long ago. Nelky and the Legendary Alchemist, normally $60. They've got that down to $30. A, I believe this one's a musical <laughs> JRPG, Omega Quintet, uh, $20 normally. Just two bucks right now. Um, if you're into those type of games, surely you got two bucks to throw at uh, throw at something. Uh, Anunnaki, uh, normally fifty dollars. They've got that down to just twenty five. Seems like it's a pretty good deal on it. I didn't love the demo that I played of it, um, but again, that was in the realm that it was going to be full priced. Didn't want to throw it down. Maybe twenty five is a little bit uh, more in line with what I'd want to spend on it. Romancing Saga 2 is normally 25. They got it down to 1250. Scarlet uh, Saga Scarlet Grace Ambitions, not much of a discount, but you do get some on this one. Normally 30 down to 2250. This is one I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, get along with a few others, and I've oftentimes made this argument that I am a physical game collector. So when stuff like these sales come along, I definitely gravitate towards the digital only titles like Star Ocean First Departure R, the remake of the first one. I never got a chance to play this one. The remake looks pretty good. You can catch it on sale right now. Normally $21 on sale for $15. Seems like a pretty decent deal. Um, Star Ocean 4. Normally is twenty one dollars. Uh, you can pick that up for ten fifty at one as well. It is as far as I know that was digital only on this remake. <clears throat> Highly recommend it. Definitely go pick this one up. I, I paid. I want to say I paid twenty two for it when it came out. I was very happy. A lot of people didn't like this one. Starship Five Integrity and Faithlessness. Uh, normally thirty dollars down to twelve. I liked it. And maybe you didn't like it because it was $60, but it's 12 bucks now. Okay. Yes. It's star ocean and they technically don't really leave that first planet. I get it, but I thought it was still fun. I thought the graphics were really good on it. Um, for $12, I would say, you know, check it out. If you've not uh, pulled the trigger before. Got a few more to go through here. We're in the S's now. Super <laughs> Neptunia RPG, normally $40 on sale for $14. Seems like a pretty good deal. Sword Art Online Hollow Realization. They've got that full price at $60 on sale for $12. That's another one sitting in my uh, backlog somewhere. Uh, Sword Art Online Lost Song, also normally $60. They've got it down to just $9. And Sword Art Online Rehollow fragment $20 normally down to just four bucks one of the T's that means it's a tales of time first up tells of Berseria uh, they've got that at 60 I don't think you're gonna pay $60 for that pretty much anywhere as you go unless <laughs> at this point uh, you just feel like paying overpaying for it <laughs> uh, they've got it down to $15 if you've not picked this one up please get it or go out and try to get a physical copy because as I'm sure it's gonna be cheaper than $60. 
Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. Paid 50 bucks for it. Loved it all day long. Down to just $20. That's a steal. The Caliglia Effect. Overdose. Normally 50. They got that down to 25. Legend of Heroes. Trails of Cold Steel. You know I'm going to recommend this one. Um, these games are hard to find on sale. So... You may, if you're wanting to get in this one and save a few dollars, I would recommend it. Uh, $40 normally, they've got it on sale for $24. Not bad. The Witch and the Hunter Knight 1 and 2, the first one normally $30. They got it on sale for $12. The second game is normally $50, and they've got it on sale for $20 right now. Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters Daybreak Special. 50 bucks normally on sale for 15. Uh, here's one I've heard a lot about and haven't pulled the trigger on yet either, and that's Tokyo Xenadu EX Plus. They've got it $60 normally on sale for just 12. Seems like a pretty good deal. Uh, Tohu Gensu Wanderer, I believe, that, I believe that's a shooter. So some of these games are in here. Not sure quite why. Thirty dollars normally, fifteen bucks on sale. Valkyrie Chronicles Remastered. That's the first one. Normally is twenty bucks on sale for eight. Hope I say this one right. Valtherian Arc Hero School Story. Fifteen normally on sale for four fifty. A game called Wizards of Brandle. Not familiar with that one. 15 normally on sale for 1050. World of Final Fantasy. Normally 25. You can get on sale now for 1250. It's another one I didn't really care when I played the demo. That was a bit too cutesy. Although it was turn based, I did I did like that, but the whole stacking mechanic just kind of that's just a pass for me. But 1250, you can't go wrong with that price. And lastly, Zanky Zerko. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, destroyed that one. Zanki Zero Last Beginning normally is sixty down to just eighteen dollars. This one's not been out that long, I didn't think. That's a pretty crazy um, good deal on that one. That is all the actual ones that are listed as RPGs. So as you'll see when we go back through here. It definitely missed a few that you would at least can be on the fence about considering to be JRPGs, and then some that are fully JRPGs, and it's kind of weird that they're not um, not on there. All right, guys, welcome back. I know I kind of laid out a different plan at the beginning of the podcast, but uh just feel like that was a good time for a natural break. Anyway, so let's get back into it. Of course, thank you so much for tuning in today, as you do uh, each week with our normal podcast on Wednesdays normally, all the news and notes of the week. These special podcasts on Sundays, a little bit more fun, a little bit different. So these are going to be all the ones on the list that uh, kind of jump out to me that uh, are either should be RPGs or, or definitely could be in that category, but they're not listed under the RPG genre. Uh, the first one was Excel World versus Sword Art Online. Normally 60, they got that down to 15. Uh, Akaba's Trip, Undead and Undressed, normally $30, down to just nine. This one, I mean, I have played it. I know it. <laughs> Should be in there. Atelier Lelua, the sign of Arland, is not in there. Um, normally $60. They've got it on sale for $36. You say that's not much of a discount. Um, they don't discount those ones very often, so saving any amount is definitely um, a good deal. A game I would not consider a JRPG, but definitely has those ties and the, some of the elements of it. Um, is Catherine Full Body that re release came out? It's now $60 on sale for $30. Um, Chronos Arc has RPGs, it certainly could be in there. Uh, normally $15 down to $750. Um, they've got this one actually listed in here um, 
as well as Crystar. That's at $60. They've got it on sale for $24. That's a pretty pretty good deal. Uh, we've kind of talked at length if, if the Dark Souls or Demon Souls games are, whether or not you believe they are or not. Well, they're not, according to <laughs> um, this classification, at $40 normally and on sale for just $24. Death End Request. We've talked about Part 2 coming out here soon. And it is at $40 normally on sale for Sixteen. Uh, it's going down the list. You, you got something like Dragon Quest Builders, probably not. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, but it is on sale normally sixty, down to just thirty six. Uh, Final Fantasy Type Zero HD. We didn't talk about it earlier. Uh, normally twenty on sale for uh, ten bucks. I didn't like it. Doesn't mean you won't, and that's at a good price. Uh, this was an add-on, but it is certainly a part of a JRPG. That's the Final Fantasy 15 multiplayer comrades, and it is on sale for just five dollars. I think the other episodes were on sale as well. Did we talk about the other God Eater games? Um, I don't. I don't know if we did or not, but yeah, God Eater 2 Rage Burst, normally 60 on sale for 15. God Eater 3, normally 60 on sale for 24. And God Eater Resurrection, normally $20 on sale for just $5. The Harvest Moon titles, definitely not, but they're on sale as well. Uh, Lost Fear, that should be in there. Normally $60. On sale for just 20 right now. Seems like that's a pretty good deal. If you're looking to pick uh, those up. Um, what about this one, guys? It's not in the RPG category. Nino Cooney, the remaster. Um, Wrath of the White Rich, normally $50. They've got on sale for 29 It's a pretty good deal. This one's definitely more action RPG. Doesn't have all those elements, but a good game nonetheless. Odin Sphere. Lothosra. I can't say it. That's the best I got. Uh, normally $60 on sale for just $24 right now. Um, that's. No, we talked about Anunnaki. That was on there. Uh, you can pick up the <laughs> Persona 3 or Persona 5 dancing games. Those are definitely not JRPGs, but they are both on sale for just $20 right now. Um, Shining Resonance Refrain, normally $30 on sale for just $20. Um, so it got most of them, as you can see, but definitely just not... Um, not every single one, and the ones that they missed was a little bit odd, to say the least. Uh, we talked about Cold Steel, right? That's normally $40 on sale for 24 They had Part 1 on the RPG category, but not Part 2. How's that possible? But yeah, Part 2 is on sale as well. Normally 40 on sale for 28 So yeah, between the two of them, if you've not picked those up, you can definitely save a couple of dollars and uh, pick those up right now. I'm getting towards the end of the list and I'm not seeing um, any others. Well, we talked about Valkyria Chronicles Remastered. While not a true JRPG, definitely Valkyria Revolution is on here. Normally 30 and on sale for just $9. So yeah, I believe that's all of them. I might have missed one or two in that entire <laughs> uh, big list of them, but um, I tried certainly tried my best. And there are tons of other games on there that uh, you might be interested in seeing. You will definitely want to check those out. So here are in this big list. Like I said, there was 206 games on sale. Here's the top five I would throw out there that were on this list, but not on the RPG list that I would uh, I would recommend. Well, first off, Nino Cooney because that should be on the RPG list, but it's not. Like I said, you can pick that up for twenty nine dollars. 
I've seen it on sale every once in a while physically, physically, but not uh, not recently. So if you've never played that one and you don't want to leave your house, understandably so right now, for less than $30, you're going to get a lot of value out of that game. I platinumed it and put hundreds of hours into it easily. A PS2 game that got a remastered and was certainly beautiful at that time, and it's still beautiful. That is Okami. They've got that for just $10. If you've never played that one, I would highly recommend it. Um, along those same lines, I, um, they've got like the Resident Evil games on sale. If you've never played those in particular, like Resident Evil 4 for $8. Yeah, I mean, you cannot go wrong with that one. Devil May Cry HD Collection. I loved all those games. You can get the first three in HD for just Fifteen dollars, five bucks a piece for those games. A lot of fun. Definitely would want to check those out. Uh, we mentioned this one before, and I don't believe it's certainly deserving to be a uh, RPG. But does have those elements to it, more of an action game to me. Dragon's Crown Pro for seven bucks. I think it's finally time that I picked that one. Um, pick that one up to to play on my own. A lot of fun. I've heard that game is. And lastly, out of the non-category, for $16, you can pick up these two collections and own the first 10 Mega Man games. I'm old school. I love Mega Man. I played through these on my DS and quite enjoyed them. But yeah, the first one, I believe is one through five, you can get for $6. And then the part two of the collection is just $10. And then they've got Mega Man 11 on sale as well if you're interested in picking up those old school lots of fun games now here it is it is time for the best of the best these are five games that i have played and would personally recommend that um if you've not played them, go and get them. My top five. Dragon's Dogma. Played it all the way through on PlayStation 3. <laughs> Came back out on PlayStation 4. Played it all the way through again. It's certainly prettier than it was before. It's still not perfect. But I really, really enjoyed this game. And for $10 to pick this one up, I do not think you would be disappointed at all. So go check it out. It's got that really cool pawn system that uh, you trade. You basically trade in your party members because they don't level up. But as you do, <coughs> you would upgrade and get new ones. I kind of, I really like that mechanic of yeah, you'd fall in love with certain ones, you'd want to keep them, but you're always got this pool of brand new party members. To choose from, you you do keep your, you know, pawn the whole time, but it's pretty cool to be able to get these new ones all the time. Star Ocean Four, ten dollars and fifty cents. I really really enjoyed this one. I've kind of been going uh, back through and playing some of these ones I missed, and that was one of them back in the day. And so this re-release in a 4K edition, it's still not that pretty, but it does do some things really well. And the characters are really well done this one. It has the world hopping, <laughs> so it's a true Star Ocean game. And at that price, I do not think you would be disappointed at all. Definitely go and pick this one up. And uh, these last two... Um, our, our groups. So we already mentioned Cold Steel, part one and part two. It's the Legend of Heroes series demands your attention right now. Part three is out there. Part four is coming. Um, I cannot recommend this series any more than I have in the past. They don't go on sale very often, so to get them digitally, you can get part one right now for $24 and part two for $28. I'd say go get them. I mean, 
I'd prefer you go get the physical edition, but those don't go on sale a whole lot. And a lot of you out there are digital people anyway. Um, they're going to take up a good chunk of your hard drive. So you might need to address that issue as well, but, um, go pick them up. Um, Tales of Vesperia is out there for $20 right now. I loved every minute of playing through this one. I understand why a lot of people say it is the best Tales game. And at $20, you can uh, be proven right or wrong that it is the best one. Um, but the one that I'd probably say recommend to go get the most, and that's because it is the newest one. And it it's kind of that return to form, in my opinion, for the Tales series. And that's Tales of Berseria. Not only is it a full Tales experience, it's a $60 game that you can get for $15 right now. Don't pass it up. You will not be disappointed. The characters return to form in terms of uh, that Tales cast that you will instantly fall in love with. A great story. If you played um, the previous game, that, so this game is kind of a sequel to Zestiria, but it's not. It just kind of finishes some of the story elements from the first one. So if you're like me and didn't actually love Zestiria, but played through it because it's a Tales game and you wanted to, just forget about it, okay? Because Berseria does nothing that <laughs> Zestiria did wrong, but does everything right that a Tales game uh, should, okay? It just kind of wraps up some of those long story elements that were set in the first one. But don't let that hold you back from playing this one. You will... If you love Tales games, you're going to love this one. And at $15, you're going to kick yourself for not picking up because it's worth every bit of 60 Go out there and get it. That's it, fellas. And, well, shoot, fellas and gals. Uh, that'd be weird to <laughs> not say hello to everybody. That's it for this one. I hope you have enjoyed this Sunday special episode 15. We're going to wrap it up right there. Keep in mind, you don't have long to take advantage of all these sale prices as this one does end like we said, at May on May 8th at 11 a.m. I'm assuming that's Eastern Standard Time. But if uh, any of you're not going to take advantage of it, that's fine. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, no, these are our games that I've recommended that you can pick up at any point in time, even if it's not on sale right now. Thank you so much for listening. Each and every week, don't forget to give us a like on Facebook. Join our Facebook group over there. We always have some cool stuff going on. Follow on Twitter. Um, I'm doing a lot of stuff on YouTube right now, guys. I think you'll enjoy it. So give me a subscribe over there to follow. Um, also, we do have our listener support. So if you enjoy the content that you're listening to right now and stuff that I'm doing on YouTube as well as these podcasts, I'd really appreciate you consider giving us uh, support over there. That'd be really, really awesome. That'll wrap up this one. I'll see you guys again on Wednesday for more news around the JRPG world. But until then, get back out there and level up.